In back segment tonight, banning Donald Trump. Early next week, Parliament will actually debate a measure that would bar Mr. Trump from entering Great Britain, where he has a number of hotels and golf courses. And this in part because he said if elected president, he would stop Muslims from entering the USA until a system of security could be developed. The UK controversy began when a petition was handed to Parliament containing almost 600,000 signatures to ban Mr. Trump. Joining us now from London, Fox News senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcott, and on the phone from Aberdeen, Scotland, Suzanne Kelly, who began the petition. Now, you're a journalist, right? You write for a paper up there in Scotland? Absolutely. I write for an online newspaper called the Aberdeen Voice. Okay. I am a volunteer, unpaid journalist. Yes, and correct. you're unpaid, but a mm -hmm. volunteer journalist. All right, so you don't <laughs> like Trump. You, don't, you know, there's an environmental stuff surrounding some of his golf courses. He said stuff about Mexicans you didn't like, and then you said stuff about Muslims you didn't like. All right, I just want to get everybody knowing where your point of view is. But what, Ms. Ms. Kelly, what about freedom of speech? I mean, isn't he entitled to his opinion? Everyone's entitled to an opinion, but free speech is not the same thing as hate speech. In the UK, we have a public order act, and if somebody is deliberately trying to stir up racial hatred or create racial tensions, it's actually an offense here. Our Home Secretary can ban people from the kingdom if she wishes to, and we have a system whereby I can use my free speech to invoke the petition system here and say, I think this should happen. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you use the system. You use the system legitimately. You got your signatures. But I'm going to challenge the hate speech. If you look at Trump's uh, comments on Mexicans and Muslims, and I disagree with those comments, by the way, and I've told him. I'm sure you do. And I've told him to his face that I don't believe that's good policy. It's not good policy. However, we have a big problem in the United States with Mexicans coming through our southern border, helped by the Mexican government, which looks the other way while these people, smugglers and drug smugglers, do their dirty deeds down there. That was the context of Mr. Trump's remarks on Mexicans. And obviously, you know what the refugee problem in Europe the trouble that's causing, and that's the context of Trump's comments on the Syrian refugees, the Muslim refugees. So the comments are not there by Trump to promote hate. It's his policy that he's trying to get out. Do you understand that? I'd like you to understand some of his other comments. He said that the relatives of anybody involved in terrorism should be taken out. I assume he's not talking about dinner and a show. He's not talking about trial again, and investigation. He's saying take them out. But Ms. Kelly, yeah, that's well, this is policy, policy in somebody who wants to be president of your country. Well, our president. Doesn't that scare you? Ms. Kelly, Ms. <laughs> Kelly, our present, our present president, Mr. Obama, takes out families of terrorists by dropping drones on them. I'm sure you're aware of that. Indeed. Okay, and so nobody is in favor of you that may either. disagree with it, but you can't, you shouldn't, in my opinion, ban people. In fact, you should want Trump to come to Aberdeen <laughs> and have an interview with him, right? Uh, well, I'd love to speak to his spokespeople, but um, I keep challenging to debate, and none of them are, are willing to do this. Aside from the comment I just mentioned, Donald Trump has said an outrageous number of other things based on uh, his to me, complete xenophobia. I but that's don't think your, the Democratic Kelly, has, it, yeah. that's your opinion. There are millions of other people who agree that we need a hard-edged person to put an end to the chaos that we're seeing. Look, well, he keeps we respect Ms. Kelly. Strong. I think that he's confusing strong and smart with being basically manipulative but and But that's um, your brash. opinion. <laughs> you don't ban people because you disagree with their opinion. But Ms. Kelly, we appreciate you coming on tonight. Now let's bring in Greg Palcott. Any chance that his ban Trump measure passing Parliament? I don't think so, Bill. I've been speaking to my political contacts uh, throughout uh, throughout London tonight, and uh, they say that uh, even though people are upset here about what Donald Trump has uh, had to say, that he will not get banned by this uh, committee of Parliament that will be meeting. Uh, now, there is a precedent for this happening, however, and so what, what probably, probably has Donald Trump's office a little bit concerned, if Americans are found violating uh, hate speech or provocative 
provocative speech, whatever. They have been blocked in the past. Uh, the fighter, um, uh, Mike Tyson, was blocked. The the uh, radio uh, radio host, uh, Mike Savage, as well as uh, Terry Jones, the, the preacher. The question is, is what he has been saying classified as hate speech? And again, my contacts say it won't be classified as hate well, speech. I hope not. But, but because be, they have the system. You know, if that ever happened, because look, I know Trump as, as well as anybody knows Trump. And as I said to Ms. Kelly, I disagree with some of his policy pronouncements. You don't alienate the Muslim world if you want the Muslim world to help you fight ISIS. I don't think that's good policy. In the Mexican thing, he didn't explain it well. He was talking about the Mexican government's corruption and collusion with people smugglers. He should have made that quite clear. But even so, these are his opinions. And if Great Britain is going to say, we don't want certain opinions, and what the hell is going on with all of these radical imams in Great Britain? I mean, they're all over the place stoking up hate. Are they deporting those people, Greg? They have to go through this because they have a system, uh, uh, Bill, a system where if anybody brings up these uh, signatures in a petition form, and so far there's they have been almost 600,000 signatures, right. they have to go through it. Uh, a point to clarify, it's not going to go to the House of Commons. They've got a secondary debate chamber right. where you've got a quorum of three members of parliament that will show up. They will do this. There isn't necessarily a, a binding vote or not, and then it gets thrown to the version of uh, Department of Justice here in the UK, the Interior Ministry, the Home Office, and they've got to make the decision. Uh, and uh, the <laughs> folks above them are of the uh, same ilk as, uh, well, the okay. Republican it Party. Sounds like you got a bureaucracy problem just like we have. But I, I'm going to predict yeah, now yeah. that Trump's not going to be banned and be able to play his little golf up in Scotland if he wants to. That's, that's what I'm hearing too, Bill. Thank you.